Hey guys, another PicMonkey tutorial for you. I'm going to teach you how to remove the background from your pictures and be able to use that picture in multiple uses. So for example, we'll do a Facebook cover. So you want to go to design and we're just going to create a 5x7, whatever size, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and then go to overlay to select the picture that you want to remove the background from. So the picture that I'm going to remove the background from is this one. Give it a second. Sometimes, oh, there we go. Sometimes it doesn't load. You could just exit out and try reloading it. So here's the picture I want to remove the background from. So I just resize it on this white background. And I'm going to explain that in one second. So to erase the background, you simply go to eraser. I like to make it big. And I do like the big chunks. And then I'll make it a little bit smaller and I'll take the hardness down. And whenever I do this, I actually get super close to the line and I'll actually like remove a little bit of the image I wanna preserve. So especially at blondes, it's hard to really see where your hair is because it's so light. So let's just say I remove part of my arm right there. Then I can go back in with this paintbrush and I like to make the hardness very soft, a little bit smaller. And then I can go back and put in my arm and have a nice soft edge. Magic. Now when you want to get into these inner parts right here, you can just simply use the magnifying glass. Go in closer, move this little guy around. And you can erase these smaller areas. And like I said, you can do it super close to the edge and then go back in with this paintbrush and put your shirt back in, in your arm. So we're going to pretend like I did this perfectly. It takes a couple minutes. So then what you want to do is go over here to this crop feature and click on canvas color and make your background transparent. Apply that and now you can save this image and I'll show you how I did uh, one where I got even more detailed on the erasing. So I can actually save this image and it's going to save it with that transparent background. So now I can add this background to anything I want. So if I wanted to make a Facebook cover, for example, I would just go to design Facebook cover and I want to add a pretty background, I think. So I'm going to choose my own background. Here's a really nice pretty image that I downloaded. So I'm just going to resize it to the size that I want. It's really pretty. I love flowers. And now I want to add myself into it. So I'm going to add myself. And do you guys see how I can resize this and I don't have a background? Cool, huh? There you have it. Now you can use that image that you deleted the background from for just about anything that you would like. You can go ahead and save this, add some text. Um, add some fun little arrows, whatever you want to do, have fun with it, you know, get creative. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe so I know to make more. Leave comments on anything else you'd like me to do a tutorial on. And if there's someone you feel would benefit from watching this video, please go ahead and share it with them. I would appreciate it. Alright guys, happy creating and I will talk to you soon.